Mark and welcome back to the workshop here for the Steel Focus On series. Today we're going to focus on just that, battery powered professional blowers. Um, another part of the holistic experience, I guess, working with tools like this is the sound, right? I just heard the sound as I did my mm -hmm. test here in the workshop. Uh, they do make a certain amount of noise. What contribution do you make there to try and suppress that? Well, noise is a really, really important topic, especially when it comes to, to blowers. So in the the petrol market, yeah. they can emit large n amounts of noise. Mm. It's very easy to make a battery powered blower a lot quieter. Naturally, they haven't got the petrol engine run. run. Right. So it's a, a simple thing to make a, a quieter tool, but we don't stop there. It's not just about the decibel level, it's about the tone of the noise coming out of the blower as well. Right. And that can either give a user and the surrounding people a pleasant experience or an unpleasant experience. So, so it's not only about volume levels, it's about the, the quality of the sound, right? Yeah, so you have to have a holistic approach, not just looking at the spec sheet and seeing the decibel levels there, but actually the tone of the blower um, can be a really, really important thing. So listening to the tone is quite quite a key thing. Okay, and you've actually, got a video where you compare sounds of two machines, right? Yeah, my colleague Toby here in the still training team um, has prepared a nice little demonstration comparing two similarly powered um, sound power leveled blowers. Right. One from still, one from another manufacturer. So you can actually hear while they're the same or similar on a spec sheet, they are very different in real life in the tone of the machines. Let's, Let's check it out then. So first in the comparison test of the Still BGA 250. And then we have a competitor product. Yeah, you can see there it's not just about this looking at the spec sheet, it's about the, the real world experience. It definitely is. I certainly have my opinion of which I would rather listen to, but it would interest us to know what your opinion is. Of those two products that you've just uh, seen and heard, which one was your favourite? Uh, final point on the subject of sound, do I have to wear ear defenders when I'm using these products? Not with the handheld blowers we've seen today, the BGA 100, the 200 and the 250 we've got here, you don't need to wear ear defenders. So the overall sound experience is, is better for the professional user and also for the people in the, uh, in the environment where you're doing the clearing. So whether in schools, hospitals or, or in offices, you get a pleasant uh, experience overall. Paul, thank you so much for sharing it with us today. It's been a blast. My pleasure. Thank you very much. And thank you guys for dropping by. Until next time, don't forget to uh, ring the bell and uh, subscribe to the channel. It's the only way that you can find out the next time Paul has got some insights to share. But until the next time, from all of us here in the workshop, take care of yourselves and cheerio.